Hello, myself Sadi Salange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we are going to see regarding the formulation of the problem in the linear programming problem for the minimized case. At the end of the session, the learner will be able to convert the real world problem into the mathematical form that is the linear programming problem. Here, let's see what is the linear programming problem. It's a mathematical modeling technique in which the following terms are involved. First one is the objective function. It may be of a maximizing case or it, is a, it may be of a minimizing case. And next comes regarding the decision variables which are involved in the particular example or the problem which are given the restriction. That is the non-negative variables we say. Now, objective of learning of the Learn, uh, linear programming problem is to maximize the profit or you can say the benefits or the production or to minimize the time requirement for the manufacturing or minimize the wastage of the resource which is required for the manufacturing of the product etc. Now coming to the point of today's session the formulation of the problem in the linear programming problem. The linear programming problems can be solved by the following techniques that is by the graphical method, simplex method or big M method or two phase method. Now steps involved in the formulation of the problem in the linear programming problem are as follow. Step one, we have to observe, study and understand the real world problem. We have to identify the correct problem of the case or and we have to describe the objective function after this we have to go for the defining the decisions variables involved in the problem the decision variables are always help us to define the values in the quantitative value and we have to go to the next step and we have to define the objective function equation by using the decision variables uh, we have to write the case of the particular problem it may be the maximized case or the minimized case now next come step number five once we have identified the objective of the objective of the particular problem we have to define this constraints or the limitations associated with the example the limitations or you can say the constraints set equations are in the equality form or inequality forms and finally we have to give the restrictions to the particular variables that is see the example here the multiple is there which is having the case study of the water supply system basically they are using two methodology one is the gravitational methodology and second one is the mechanical boosting or you can boosters states for the supplying of the water and when we see this description they are research they are conducting the research and they are saying that the particular oral description that the pressure expressed by the gravitational method and the mechanical pumping station in the entire municipalities were put at the 2 kN per meter square and 8 kN per meter square respectively and the municipality has three pumping estates that is A, B and C there are three location pumping estates A, B and C and the pumping estate A is expressed to have the combined pressure of not more than 24 kN per meter square and housing estate b should have the pressure of not more than 130 kilonewton per meter square and the house estate c will have the pressure of magnitude not less than 12 kilonewton per meter square these are the particular limitations which are defined for the or you can say housing estate a b and c regarding the pressure means here these are the pressures minimum pressures particular or you can say limitations of pressures defined to get the proper supply of the water 
by the supplied department now this table is giving you overall picture of the a uh, pressure by the gravitational method and the mechanical booster states for the each housing state a b and c now first step as we have seen we have identified that in this present case the municipality or you can say municipal is interested to have the betterment water system or you can say increase the distribution of water properly by two methodology one is of gravitational method and by the mechanical method as they are facing the problem by the only by the gravitational method so we have observed the particular problem we have studied what the exactly uh, the example or the problem requirement is there and we have understood now we have to define what is our objective of the particular problem yes in the present case the main objective of the particular municipality water system is to minimize the pressure requirement in the municipality okay so we have to define the variables now after knowing the what the particular problem is there and what is the objective and we have to move towards the finalizing the decision variables now the municipality is want to supply the water by gravitational method and the by the mechanical booster states so let us assign x1 is the variable of gravitational method and x2 is a variable of mechanical booster state now once we have defined the variables of the problem that is of the uh, related to the gravitational method and the mechanical method we have to move towards the objective function and we have to write the objective function equation the objective function equation is what to minimize the pressure so minimization case it is there and z is equal to 2x1 plus 8x2 how it has been defined you have just see what they are saying just go through the overall particular description the pressure expected by the gravitational method and the mechanical pumping station in the entire municipality were put up to the 2 kN per meter square and 8 kN meter square now we have to define the constraints or you can say set of constraints yeah after identifying the constraints are what the constraints are particular availability of the pressure with each pump stations or you can say housing stations here housing is state a when we move towards the example here the description is saying the municipality has three housing estates a b and c and the housing estate a is expected to have combined pressure of not more than 24 kN per meter square so this by using this table for housing estate 1 a or you can say a 1 x1 plus 2 x2 is here what they are saying for the first housing station it should not more than means the equation will be x1 x1 plus 2 x2 less than or equal to 24 because 24 is a maximum it should not be more than 24 so similarly for the house is standing b when we have seen this problem <coughs> the housing state b should have the pressure of not more than 130 kN per meter square so 7x1 plus 6x2 is less than is equal to 132 similarly for the house state c x1 plus 2 x2 greater than equal to 12 because here the when we see the description the house state c will have the pressure of magnitude not less than they are saying means it should not be have the pressure less than 12 newton kilo 12 kilo newton per meter square so by using this table for house state c 1 
x1 plus 2x2 it should be greater than or equal to 12. These are the three set of constraints available with this particular problem. And finally, we have to give the restrictions signed to the particular variables, decision variables x1 and x2 is greater than or equal to 0. So this is overall formulated example, objective function is equal to minimize z is equal to 2x1 plus 8x2, subjected to the constraint x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 24 for sub or house is state A and 7x1 plus 6x2 less than or equal to 132 for house is state B and x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to 12 for house is state C by the restriction of the sign to the both of the variables. Just answer this particular question. <coughs> Hope so you have selected the correct answer for the example. These are the references for the today's session. Thank you.